Hey there, this is Vikas from InstaWP. Today we did our version 3 launch of the new dashboard and I'm excited to show you around. Let's get started. As you might see, you have a completely new layout with a new sidebar, a new top bar and also the detail page and the listing pages are completely new. The new layout is meant to improve navigation and improve user experience, allowing us to show you more things in much easier way. So that means less clicks and faster outcome. Let's get started. In the sidebar, you will see that there is no staging option or hosting option. They have been eliminated and they have been merged together under the sites tab. And I will show that in details in a moment. And then we have the templates option, which is as usual, there is no change with that. We have renamed the Connects tab to Manage, so which allows you to manage your WordPress website even if it is not hosted with us. This is a new feature and we are working on to improve that. And then we have the VAS option, which was always there, right? Um, we have pulled out all the settings from My Account. If you click on My Account, there is no more team settings and now you can see those things here along with the integrations. So all Everything you want to do with InstaWP is on your sidebar. Now let's talk about the top bar. So the top bar, you can see your announcements and your subscription information. But then we have um, basically divided the My Account area and the Teams area in separate menus. So this is about Teams and you can explore all your Teams, create new, switch Teams, go to Steam settings very easily. Um, and you can also see uh, your account, your subscription, we have some apps, we want to migrate websites, all those things are now combined into the My Accounts area, making it really sleek, easy to understand. Uh, we have removed one option, which I don't know if you have noticed. We used to have a dashboard, which we have removed completely because it was serving no purpose. Uh, coming to the main point, which is merging of staging and hosting tabs. So we call it sites now. All your Insta WP staging sites are available under the all sites section. And you can filter through temporary sites or permanent sites using these options. So these are like filters for temporary and permanent sites. Uh, if you have any InstaWP Live sites, then you can see it when you click on the InstaWP Live tab. So all your InstaWP Live sites will appear here. If you had a third-party hosting account connected, that will show up as a new tab here. If you don't have one, you can click on Connect Hosting and connect any of one of our partners. So that makes it easy. And if you are on the All Sites tab, click on Add Site and you will be able to add new site as you usually were able to do. And then if you go to the InstaWP Live tab and click on Add Site, now you can add a live site. If you had something like a Run Cloud or Server Avatar or any, any of one of our partners like Servbolt, then you will be able to add sites directly in that control panel. So that is the Sites tab. Um, and then let's look at some of the detail pages. So some of those have changed. So now you can see there are two sub menus. Um, so that's the main sidebar. And then there is the sub sidebar, right? Which shows you the detail page menu. Now, if you need, and we have also added this new dashboard option under the site detail where you can see basic details about the disk and disk usage and everything else. You can also add a description to the site. So this will be my site and you save it. If you go back to your site's uh, listing page, you will see that you can hover over a site detail, site name, and you will see the detail of the site. So let's click that again, and you can see all the options here. Now, going back to say manage, you can open up any website. By the way, we have added filter for advanced sites and basic sites here. So if you click on any of these managed website, you can see all the options here. If you go to the manage uh, listing page again, you can click on bulk edit 
and you can bulk edit sites. Same thing has been replicated in uh, the whole UI, and that's what we are aiming for, uh, a consistency across the UI. So if you click on these, and you will see the bulk action buttons. So I hope that makes it easy. Lastly, let's have a look at the My Account section. It is almost the same. And you can see your subscriptions, you can API tokens, notifications, and everything else. So not much has changed, if you think about it. And you can collapse the sidebar using this very cool button. All right, so that completes the overview of new version 3 dashboard. And now we are working on the phase 2 of version 3, which is uh, pay-as-you-go billing model, which will allow you to buy or use whatever services you need on the dashboard, on the entire application, I mean. And the third phase would be flexible site plans where you can buy various configurations of site from us. So that's it from my side for today. Have a great day.